Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to show you samples of towels that I have made. I've taken an inexpensive towel and turned it into a designer towel. And these towels are basically for the Christmas holiday season. But you can apply these techniques to any season of the year. Now when I'm showing you these samples, there's going to be links below your YouTube screen to show you how to go about making your own type of towel project. They're really budget friendly, really inexpensive, so let's get started. I love shopping at Walmart, and the reason why I love it is because it's the only store in town, so I have to love it. But I do love the selection of towels. All of the towels in this video were purchased at Walmart. These three towels came in a set. They were all attached together. They have these beautiful red, green, and white Christmassy colors. So let me show you what I did to them. All I did was take some really simple ribbon on these two. And this is ribbon made by Ofre. And this ribbon was also purchased at Walmart. Now, I don't know if all Walmarts sell with ribbons and trims. Joanne sometimes sells this particular brand too. Over here on this towel, I had a leftover strip of other Christmas fabric that I stitched on. Then I put white rickrack over each edge. So you could give these individually as a gift or you can just stack them together, bundle them, and give it as a set. Now these two towels also came in a set. I pulled out towels I purchased from last year. So this gives you a nice idea. So let me show you what I did with this towel here. Again, I had a strip of Christmas fabric I stitched on the bottom and then I put rickrack across the top edge. Now this black one, I was a little lost as to what to do. So I just put green on it and I put jingle all the way and this is one inch wide rickrack that I also purchased at Walmart, and it is made by Ofre also. If you can't find it at your Walmart, I would try looking on the internet. Uh, probably Amazon will have it, and other fabric supply uh, online stores will have it. Now, it had a theme to it. This is dashing through the snow, and then I put jingle all the way. And this was done on my embroidery machine. So for those of you who do have an embroidery machine, you can kind of coordinate the two towels together with either the same kind of motif that's here or follow along with the saying that's on this towel and continue it onto the other towel. This was also a very inexpensive set and really simple to do. Here is another coordinated set that I purchased at Walmart. I thought this was really cute because it had this big snowman on it. It also came with this black, white, and red fabric. So I was a little lost as to what I could do with this one, and I'll show you in a moment what I did. But with this snowman one, all I did was just add this strip of ribbon at the bottom. And again, this is Ofre ribbon, and I purchased it at Walmart. Now on the black, red, and white towel, I put it in my embroidery machine, and I stitched out a design, and it didn't turn out very good. So I'm gonna show you what I did. All right, here it is. The lettering is way too small, the design wasn't bold enough, and I thought, oh no, I've ruined this towel. So what I did was, I put some plain white fabric, 
into my embroidery machine and stitched it out and made the print bigger and bolder. Then on the back of this, I applied fusible webbing. And this is where machine applique comes into the picture. So there is a tutorial listed below on how to do machine applique. It's really simple. So what I have to do is I have to peel this back paper off and it will leave the glue on it. Then I will press it down over my design, go to my ironing board, put a damp cloth over it, a hot iron with steam, and fuse it on. Then I'm going to go to my sewing machine and do a wide satin stitch, which is a zigzag stitch, but it's really tightly weaved together. And I will stitch it around the edge and I'm going to use red. So this is what it looks like when it's done with the satin stitch. Now, if you don't have an embroidery machine, machine applique could be your answer. You could cut out a design and fuse it on and then do a satin stitch or any other decorative stitch of your choice. Even if you can't find a towel that already has a Christmas theme on it, you can take a plain towel. It can be white, it can be a plain red or a plain green. So I took this white one. Now it's got this brown design on it, but when I'm done, you won't see it. I found this cute gingerbread cookie fabric, and this is new. I just bought it, and you can find it at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. I'm also using green rickrack, and the rickrack is made by Rights, and you can find this at a lot of Walmart stores, Joann's, you can find it at uh, Amazon and many other sewing supply websites. So let me show you what I did. I chose to use my embroidery machine and put this little saying on here, baking for Santa, and then I put this other little design. All of this you can find in many basic standard embroidery sewing machines. And there's going to be a video down below that talks about an entry level embroidery machine. And you can watch that and you get an idea of what an entry level embroidery machine can do for you. You can also take that fabric that I showed you, cut a strip, stitch it on, and then put rickrack trim along there. Now my embroidery design is just a little crooked. It is kind of hard to line up your towels because they do kind of stretch in funny ways, but I thought it turned out pretty good. It's probably my favorite one that I've done. These two towels came as a set, and I thought it was a perfect gift idea for maybe a new homeowner, a uh, newlywed couple or someone's birthday and I also thought it was a great Christmas present for really anyone. And so I did something very, very basic to these towels. So let me show you what I've done. I've put the Ofre ribbon. There again, it's Ofre. I got the ribbons at Walmart. I put tassel fringe on the bottom of one and this is by Simplicity got this at Walmart, and then the pom-pom fringe was also by Simplicity, and I also got it at Walmart. And each of these took about five minutes to make, so it just makes a really cute, coordinated gift set for someone. This is a bag of red plastic cookie cutters, and they're all Christmas. Themed, all different shapes that have to do with Christmas. So let me show you what I did with them. When I give gift towels, I always like to attach something that they can use in the kitchen. And with these towels, I wanted something that was Christmassy. So I took those cookie cutters and I tried to match it up with the theme of the towel. Now this one didn't have a particular theme other than it was the colors of Christmas that we see so often. 
So I put a Christmas, Christmas tree on it. This one had to do with jingle bells, so I put a bell on it. This one had a snowman on it, so I attached the snowman. And this one here, my favorite, had a gingerbread theme, so I put a gingerbread cookie cutter on it. Now, as far as towels that have to do with other seasons or other occasions, I sometimes will include a wooden spoon, wooden fork, a wooden scraper, some type of utensil like that. Or you can use some of these other inexpensive ones. This is a jar scraper, like you can get peanut butter out, mayonnaise, jelly, whatever it is you're looking for. But I have to show you my favorite. And it is a scrubber brush. And I want to explain to you why it's my favorite. Whenever I go into the kitchen and I want to rinse a plate off or, or scrub some little thing down, I have a really hard time because my right hand doesn't close. So I really have a difficult time. So I found this little scrubber and it's actually a little mitten. I can put this on my right hand, my bad hand, hold the plate or bowl with my left and scrub. I was so excited about this. I picked it up right away. So you could even attach something like this to the towels. You just either put a fancy bow on it, tie it down somehow, and give it as a really pretty functional gift. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and that I've inspired you to work with kitchen towels. Now remember, there are many links down below your YouTube screen showing you different uh, towel videos that you can look at. Don't forget to look at the one that's about learning how to do machine applique and how to do a basic stitch on your embroidery machine. Now don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time.